Hey everybody, welcome to Cut, Transform, Glue and to the third episode of this combat unit build. Here I have the plywood test leg I made before and now I gotta turn this into reality. For this leg build I'll use a bunch of these acrylic exo pieces that I laser cut which I can break to the size I need. Very useful stuff that I have in here, but I'll begin by using this gribbly right here that I take in from my dad printer. I'm not sure exactly why, but I think this looks amazing. Then I threw some lines on the test piece, but I'll actually cut some extra wood for this. I then glued a couple of these pieces together to make a thicker shape for the top segment and with a hole saw I removed this big chunk from the side where I later glued the black circle shape. With my mini disc sander I made some rounded corners, I added some angles here and there and I also made a chamfer all around the piece. Now before I glue this interesting black shape right here, I actually have to take care of the end grain of the plywood, cause yeah, that can bite me in the future. So that dark gray goop right there is some light curing putty, I believe this is used on the car industry uh, to cover some imperfections uh, before painting or something to that effect, but yeah, this is very useful and it works super fast. With that taken care, I could create the first connection, the first axle, using the laser cut shapes I just showed you. Now, when you're working with laser cut pieces, there are some imperfections that you gotta remove, especially when you're sandwiching a couple of these together. It is kinda hard to spot that in the video, but there's an angle to the laser cut edge that gets very very visible when you sandwich a couple of these together. So yeah, I'll remove it with my mini disc sander. Then the acrylic pieces got glued to the bottom of the plywood piece using some CA. And then I could finally glue the black circular shape to the top right there using a 3D printed spacer. There's also this cool looking shape right here that I 3D printed uh, that will connect the top segment to the ball joint. And on the front I'll glue this white disc right here. Now, sometimes I feel there's a ghost in the shop flicking the pieces of my hand. But anyways, as you can see, I'm adding some laser cut acrylic detail pieces on the top segment, uh, on the front and on the back, and I'm using CA and weld bond glue depending on what's needed. Okay, so now let's move on to the middle segment. Again, I'll use a bunch of the acrylic exo shapes, but I'll also use uh, some Lego pieces to glue everything perpendicular. Now, don't worry Lego fans, uh, these are actually some fake Lego pieces. I would never ever use some real Lego pieces. <clears throat> The fake Lego pieces are very helpful as they are perfectly square, so yeah, if you want to keep things perpendicular and put uh, shapes together pretty fast, uh, some Lego pieces are very helpful on that front. Now, as you can see, I actually decided to break the EXO acrylic shape in half and I decided to put an angle to the back piece, as you can see, just to make things fun and interesting. Both pieces were glued with some CA and I decided to move to the bottom segment. Again, I'm using the acrylic EXO uh, shapes and some Legos to put a basic EXO together. But actually in this bottom segment, I decided to go back to the plywood, uh, just one sheet of plywood as you can see, as I want this uh, bottom segment to be thinner than the top one. And just as I did for the top segment, I made some rounded corners, I've added some angles here and there, and of course I chamfered the edges all around the piece. I also added some extra detail, some 3D printed gribblies, and also some laser cut acrylic, as always. Now the only thing left to do right here is to put everything together and check if everything is working as it should. 
One last thing I did before throwing a good coat of primer on each piece was to add some final details like this one right here on the side. These air vents were 3D modeled and printed and yeah, I glued them to the leg before uh, throwing the final coat of primer. And after that, the only uh, thing left to do was to make the second leg. Designing legs for a Mac can be kind of tricky and I'm not gonna lie, uh, sometimes I have to try at least a couple of times to get the perfect geometry and shapes for a build. It needs to look good and also it is going to hold the whole weight of the model after all. But I'm quite happy that for this project the shapes and the geometry for the leg came together really fast and I'm very pleased with the result. I think I'm getting good at this guys. Now of course I still gotta make the feet which is kind of complex and also I gotta make some weapons uh, for this build uh, I'm thinking some energy weapon and a couple of missile uh, pods on the sides but that my friends is for the future for now let me thank my patrons for the amazing support and for helping me keeping the lights on around here and if you want to join them and check some cool benefits the links are on the description box don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and as always Thanks for watching.